that's Caitlin. And another statue. Again, I don't know. I This is the second one I filmed today, but I don't know whether it's going to come out before or after that. If it's before, you can check out the Wonder Woman one eventually. And if it's after, you can still go back and check out the Wonder Woman one. But anyway, <laughs> so this is uh, Angela. They're calling this one uh, Angela as Guardian's Assassin from uh, Diamond Select Gallery line. Uh, and I've had my eye on this one for a while on entertainmentearth.com and it was part when I finally saw it under their just one left file I was like yeah I got it. and also it was a bit of on a clearance Black Friday kind of sale so I believe this one was like 30 something rather than the usual 40 bucks for these statues so not bad at all uh, this is a character I don't know too much about I have read some of her comics I've read uh, the Angela Queen of Hell comics, but right here on the back before I take it out. So it says the Asgardian Aldrith, sister of Thor and Loki, I knew that part, was believed dead for many years, but she was actually raised as Angela, an, uh, an angel in heaven, the long lost tenth, an angel in heaven, the long lost tenth realm, brought to our plane of existence by a rift in the omniverse. She fought to return to heaven until she learned of her true identity from her father, Odin. After a brief reign as Queen of Hell, there we go, she abdicated her throne to explore Earth with her companion, Sarah. Companion meaning lover. But, um, but yeah, I did read the Queen of Hell comics. I thought they were amazing. I fell in love with this character. Um, and, but Angela is not my uh, favorite uh, Marvel character. This is not my first Marvel one of this. I, I know I have Thor, Jane Foster Thor, and... Uh, Emma Frost. That might be it. But early, later this year, they're going to be making the Storm one for the series. That I fucking can't wait for. But uh, there is a piece of paper in here, y'all, but it does not tell you really anything. There's no COAs. These things are not numbered. Uh, they're pretty much mass produced. So, uh, nothing to talk about, you know, that wise. A lot of people collect statues for the rarity, like they only collect statues if they're like 300 uh, or 3,000 of them in existence. But what I always say about these statues, one, they're low budget. Again, this thing is usually about 40, $45. At the highest you'll pay is 50. If anyone asks you to pay higher than that, or really if anyone has you to pay higher than 40 to 45, uh, you're paying too much for these statues. Um, all the time, you're paying higher for that. Um, they're made of PVC, so they're more, they're, they're still breakable, but they're more durable than, uh, other types of statues, like all my DC uh, collectible statues or even collectible Kia statues, those are more v vulnerable than these ones. Uh, but they're one solid piece. You saw me take this completely out. Very few times will you ever see that they don't in multiple pieces. Um, so for all those things combined, and also they have a very wide range of characters from both Marvel and DC and a few other different different lines as well very good if you want to start collecting statues uh, and you're someone who loves comics and superheroes I would highly recommend you guys checking out uh, Diamond Slight Gallery uh, because they're freaking awesome again quality is there the paint is usually there I do see a few flaws on this one um, but the paint is usually very very on point very rarely will you see something completely scuffed up. They're usually they stand very well, so you really can't go too wrong with them. But you can see there's a lot of loose pieces here, so that is something to keep in mind with this one. Uh, her ribbons and it looks like her yeah her skirt is not really molded on; it's molded around her more than anything. Um, so that is something to keep in mind to make sure it doesn't rip or anything. But as long as you have this on a shelf or something it ain't gonna be that big of a deal and also something with diamond select they always make the bases personalized to the character 
So I got a Supergirl one that has her coming out of eyes like she's uh, at the uh, Fortress of Solitude. Hell, my mind went blank. <laughs> so damn blank. Um, this Wonder Woman here has the logo from the Linda Carter show on it. So, yeah, everything is personalized to that character. So I really love that. I love the eyes on this statue. The way they molded her hair to make it, like, forward, the, it makes the shadow on the eyes make that white in her eyes really stand out. This is awesome. So did anyone know that Thor had a sister? <laughs> I did because <laughs> it was part of the series but I love her story how she starts out as an angel and pretty much becomes Queen of Hell again and someone's calling me so hopefully they go away it hasn't interrupted the call I think I still have it on do not disturb <laughs> I think that's why I actually remember to put it on do not disturb today so I'll have to call her back later leave me alone there you go thank you but anyway <laughs> I love also the sword. She is a huge warrior uh, like character like most people from the Thor comics are. So you can see her just about to take her so the sword out of the sheath. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Absolutely. So the paint flaw I was noticing there are some stains it looks like on her upper thigh here. Not a lot. Not too much to judge. Um, but this is really stinking cool. The uh, leather on her belt is textured to look like legit leather. So that's something that's awesome. The hair sculpt on these are always on point. You get a lot of the stuff you get in a higher dollar statue, but it's something that's more pr uh, budget friendly. And I absolutely love these. You know, I I have a $600 statue in my collection now, um, but I still enjoy collecting these because, again, wide range of characters, absolutely love them, quality's good, paint's good, I mean, you really can't beat that, and again, this was the last one that uh, Entertainment Earth had, so I'm very happy to have snagged this one because, <laughs> again, I've been looking at it for, like, months, so very very happy to have gotten this one uh let me know what you guys think of it do you remember this comic at all um i remember a friend of mine recommended it to me um because i yeah you know, everyone knows i'm a dc person but i would really like to get more knowledgeable more like into the marvel universe uh just know a few more of the kind of that's probably the person who was calling me a while ago. But, <laughs> on the house phone now. But, um, know a bit more of the, no it's not. <laughs> I recognize that voice. I gotta go soon, y'all. But, uh, I, I just want to know more about the more not so familiar characters. Like, everyone knows Thor and Loki and Iron Man and Captain America and Hulk. Uh, but not too many of know know about Angela. So I would really like to know more about those kinds of characters. So I'm going to try to get more into it, no promises, but uh, let me know what you guys think of this statue. Again guys, uh, one, one more thing about the price, I would recommend going to your local comic shops first, asking if they have this statue. This one's a bit older, again it was the last one that Entertainment Earth had so it may not be as easy to track down, um, but for any other kind of statue I would recommend going to your comic shops first and then to Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth has the best prices of any online shop that I've seen for statues. Um, customer service, super duper friendly. They get back to you very quickly. Uh, I would recommend calling them instead of emailing them, especially during the Christmas rush. I found that out. But um, awesome company. I absolutely love them. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the, this uh, statue. I absolutely love it so damn much. She's going right next to Emma Frost on the display. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. And remember, like always, guys, it's a community and not a competition. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.